Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikanth and today's video we will gonna discuss how to commit your changes through Eclipse or SGS. Okay, so ideally we know that uh, we can commit uh, changes uh, in git bash using uh, git commit command. So uh, we can see uh, how we can achieve the same thing uh, using any of the ID like, like Eclipse and uh, STS. Okay. So uh, already I have uploaded videos regarding that one uh, with a command line as well as uh, using IntelliJ idea. So I will give those links in the description section. You can uh, watch them as well if you required. Okay. So let's see how we can uh, commit the changes. Okay, so if you see in my screen, uh, already I have a project known as uh, Spring Boot with Prometheus. So uh, this Prometheus is a monitoring tool and I have uh, created a, a basic example how we can monitor the monitor the Spring Boot application using Prometheus. So let's, uh, let's commit those changes. So if you'll see here, I have a git staging tab. Okay. So we required these tabs would be appear here to commit the changes. Okay. So how we can do that one? How we can enable this git staging here? Okay. Let me uh, remove this one. Git staging. Uh, now I want to enable here git staging. You can search git stage. Okay. If you'll see here, staging view. Now click this one. Oh my bad. Git. Git staging. Okay, you can click this one. So git staging now it's appeared here. Okay. So here you can see unstaged changes. Okay. So here all the files you have added those things will be displayed here or if you have changed anything to any file it will display here initially on stage okay so whatever the file you want to commit suppose i want to commit this two file so you can drag this one to this box stage changes so how many files if you want suppose in your local changes 10 files are there you want to add out of those things a2 then you can drag those two files here if you want to add all so here a bottom is there right just see click that one so it will add here so once we have indexed those files or stage those files we can add a commit message at the right hand side if you'll see commit message okay so you can put your commit message here initial commit then here two options are there commit and push and only commit if you want to commit these changes and push to the repository you can click commit and push otherwise if you want only commit these changes as of now then you can click here commit okay so let's do only commit here okay so our changes now done so we have committed our changes okay so how we can see uh, whether our changes are committed or not so if you see here there is there are no uh, unstable changes are there all those things are committed but to check that one we can search here history okay or git history We need to search something like history. Yes, this one. Views history. If you'll click this one, it will appear the tab. Okay. So now, if you'll see here, you can see in master branch we are committed. Uh, we have committed the changes and author and author date and who is the committer. Okay. And the commit message. If you'll see here, we are able to see. Okay, so in this way we can commit the changes 
and as well as we can verify our commits okay if you'll see here all those files we have committed it's displayed here okay so if you got a crystal clear idea how to commit your changes uh, through sts or eclipse right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day